All right, let's dive in into the settings and see what the phone has to offer in terms of software wise. All right, so here you have the suggestion, which is add swipe gesture from both sides. You can have the swiping gestures. So if you don't like the virtual keys, you can switch it up to the swipe gestures. So all right, you have a little bit of a tutorial there. Um, swipe from either the left side or the right side to go back and from the bottom just swipe up and you'll get back to home or recent tasks which is the typical android 10 gesture navigation that we have now so i think i prefer more of the swiping gesture and yep you really have to dig in a little bit you know you can't just lazy swipe it off oh actually it does work <laughs> my bad swipe up to get to the swipe up and hold to get to the recent tasks I like that better because it's easier for navigation, you know, for switching between apps, it's it's easier for me at least. All right, so we have the connectivity, the SIM card, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, either wireless connection, hotspot, Wi-Fi, tethering, Bluetooth, NFC, tap and pay. They have tap and pay now, guys. So you can use all those Android payments or all the e-wallets that uses, that utilizes Android payment. Android Beam, Wi-Fi Direct, Screencast, all your typical stuff, VPNs, ahem, ahem. <laughs> right, and then you have the notification and status bar. Notification, which you can control all of the notifications individually, which is a feature in Android. I'm glad that they implement all the useful stuff in ColorOS. Battery percentage, if you prefer to have it on. Show real-time network speed. Notification prompt mode, you can have notifications or notification is this, which you can see up to, I think, of three or four, or you can have it as a number. So instead of showing the icons, you'll have the number. And if you don't like that, you can have nothing at all because the good thing is notification will have the batch icon on the home screen icons, as well as inside the app drawer. And then we have the allow notification in the lock screen. All the typical normal ColorOS stuff that you see on different phones with ColorOS 6. Next up, we have display and brightness. I have the brightness to almost full because the screen is so gorgeous. I just can't get over it, you know. And then you have the screen refresh rate, which you can change. If you want to save a little bit more battery, you can go back to 60 hertz. But I'm telling you guys, if you buy a phone with a 90 hertz screen refresh rate, you ain't going back to 60 hertz. Seriously, it's the, the difference that you feel with 60 hertz and 90 hertz, you can really tell. It's like, you know, when phone came out with um, 720p HD, you, you, when you look at it, it's like, oh, it's really, it looks really nice. But when 1080p came out, you just can't go back to 720p. It's a way of a placebo effect that makes you, you know, somehow, some way, you finally realize the pixels that are there on the 720p screen. So when you get back to 720p HD from a 1080p HD, you'll be like, oh man, I can see the pixels now. It, it's the same way as the refresh rate for a screen. Once you go to 90 hertz, it's really hard to go back to 60 hertz because 90 hertz, it feels so smooth. And one thing that's good there is you can control the refresh rate for any app that you want. So let's say if you really want to conserve the battery, but you want that 90 hertz, maybe in gaming, in PUBG, Mobile Legends, uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So if you want that, you have the options to do that, which is really awesome. Night Shield, Low Brightness Flicker, Screen Color Mode. So you can choose because this is Super AMOLED. You can have Vivid or Gentle, which for me, I know even though Vivid is, the color is a little bit fake in some way, to me, I like it. It's, it's more pleasing to the eyes to see the color pops up to you, you know? All right, that's for display, home screen, lock screen. So here is where you customize whether you prefer the drawer mode or you just prefer the color as standard mode, which is there's no drawer. All your apps will be on the home screen. So if you don't like the drawer, you can have this. But if you don't like this, you can always change back to the drawer mode. Then you have the icon autofill. The settings changes based on what you choose as your home screen mode. And then you have the lock screen magazine, which is this one. A slideshow of pictures at your lock screen and it will rotate around. Yep, that's the lock screen magazine. Set your themes and wallpapers. And then we have the sound and vibration, normal settings. 
L, you have Dolby on Atmos in here as well. So you can change up the settings uh, to smart, which it will automatically uh, figure out what app you're using and if it supports Dolby Atmos. You can have movies, gaming mode, and music mode, which is awesome. Customization is always awesome. And then this is the quiet mode, quiet time actually. It's more like a do not disturb mode. Fingerprint, face unlock, smart services. Convenience 8, this is where you can control other customization. You can change the navigation keys here. You can have the assistive ball. Most of the Color S6 smartphones have it. Smart sidebar, gesture motion. Let's see what's in here. Screen of gesture. Oh, I didn't turn it on. All right, so you can double tap to turn the screen on. That fixes the problem just now. Now it's on, nice. Draw, oh, draw V, music control. Oh, you have more here. All right, so this is where you can customize more screen of gestures. You can put in, you know, you can uh, link it with an app so you can just open an app by just drawing it on the screen while it's off. That's pretty neat. Raise to turn on the screen, three finger screenshot. All right, that's very responsive. And then we have security, device privacy, battery. Nice. I'm going to, I'm really excited to see the battery performance here. 4,000 mAh with a 50 watt charger, a big battery, and a fast, a super fast charger, super Vogue charging. That's really awesome. That is going to save your life a lot of times. I'm serious. Like, you know, if you forgot to charge your phone and you just got up, you just plug it in. By the time you're, you're finished with um, dressing up and all, shower and all, you'll have a full 100% uh, on your battery. That's really awesome. You also have your power saver, which is recommended to turn on, but it's up to you. You can change anytime you want. Performance mode, nice. High performance, smart performance, no performance improvement. All right, and then language additional settings, which is the same as any other Color S6. About phone. Right, that's about it on the settings. There's a lot more to check out on this phone. I just can't get over how the screen looks. It's really beautiful. Beautiful screen, beautiful phone, although it's such a fingerprint magnet. But, you know, put on a case and your problem is solved. And the fingerprint scanner, it's really fast. Nice. Alright, so let's talk a little bit more about the camera. What's in the camera. Because there are a lot of features that ColorOS and Realme has brought into this wonderful phone. and. There's quad cameras here, so you basically have everything that you need. So the normal mode, this is the one-time zoom. Then we have the two-time zoom. And then we have the five-time zoom. Oh, that's far. Then we have the ultra-wide, which is awesome. Right, I'm going to try to snap a picture of this. Oh, that was not a pretty shot because... It was quite far, but yeah, it looks not bad. Also, you can go through here to change it to ultra wide. Yep. HDR, flash. This is the chroma boost, which makes everything in the picture. The color of it pops up. And then you have the filters right over there and settings. Let's dive into the settings. So for the settings, we have location, photo ratio, which is... 4x3, 1 by 1 and full screen. Timer, touch to take photo, is gestures to take photo, grid, AI scene recognition, watermark, and that's for the camera. Let's go to the video part. For the video you can have 2x zoom, 5 times zoom, and ultra wide. That is awesome. I love camera phones that have ultra wide video recording. And then we have the portrait mode here. Ultra 64 megapixel. This will make pictures all super crispy. Let's try to do this. Right, let's see. So you can see, you can zoom in, zoom in all the way in. Oh, that's a picture of my sister and my brother-in-law. <laughs> that's awesome. And it's really clear as well. And then we have the Nightscape, which will make dark pictures even more better, which have samples on it from the launch event. 
panorama mode, expert, time lapse, slow mo, and ultra macro. Interesting. Let's try this ultra macro shot. Let's try to do it on my pants. See all the. Oh dear, that's really close. All the. I don't know what, what, what these things are called. All the net nits, threads, threads. Jeez. <laughs> That is as close as I can get. But I'm pretty sure there are a lot more people with better skills at taking macro shots than I have. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, that's... Damn. With better lighting, I think you're gonna get a better shot. Let's try to do a different macro shot. Let's try to do an ultra macro shot on the Realme 5 Pro. Let's see how close you can get. Bear in mind, the lighting I have in my house right now, it's not that good. Right, let's see. Right, that's the ultra macro. And that's about it for the camera. So for the video, you have flash, super steady mode, ultra wide, the live focus effect for video, which is really awesome. Filters and the settings. Let's dive into the settings. Video resolution, you have 1080p by uh, for 3D FPS, 60 FPS, and you can go all the way up to 4K, which is awesome. So I'm gonna test this out in a more in-depth review of the phone, but the settings that we have here already, it sounds really promising. For the front-facing camera, hello. <laughs> The video can go up to 720 30 fps 1080p that's awesome photos portrait mode let's check this out well i have a white background so it doesn't really matter right oh that's really edited <laughs> well if you like those kind of selfies that make your face really smooth i guess this is good for you. Oh, you can turn it off anyways, right? Beauty of Color OS. All right, that's about it for the camera. I'm gonna play around with it even more. I'm gonna look into this phone more in depth. So stay tuned, guys. See you guys in the next one.